Welcome to Hassan Wilson's Wikispaces tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to create, edit, and manage your own wiki. In part one of this video, I will show you how to work with pages, text, images, files, tables, discussions, videos, and other dynamic widgets. I took the liberty of creating a wiki at coursewebsitedesign.wikispaces.com. The first thing I would like to show you is how to create a new page. If you look at the upper left hand corner you see the new page link. Click here. Here you can make a page name. can add a tag then you move over and press create notice that an editor menu shows on the top of the screen this will allow you to edit text and add other content but let's change some of the text In order to change text, let's highlight some text. You can make it bold. You can underline it. You can even change the font. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can change the color of the text. You can even highlight the text in another color. You can center it or change the alignment. Once you have decided what you'd like to change, press Apply Styles. Notice our changes here. You can even add bullets by selecting the text and pressing the bullet icon. You can add a divider. You can even add a hyperlink. If you'd like to link to a page inside of the wiki, all you have to do is click here for choose an existing page name, select one of the pages, let's pick the home page, and press add link. However, if you want to link to an external page, you can type it here, then add link. In addition, you can add images by pressing on the image icon here. Now there are a few options. You can insert files or images that have already been uploaded to the wiki by clicking on the files down here. If you press on the Upload Files tab, this will allow you to browse your computer and upload a file from your computer. Or if you know the URL of an image online, you can type in the website here. So let's upload a file. Press Browse. That will bring up another menu. Just double click. Press Upload. Notice the image appears here. You can double click on it. Now, the image is here, but you have a few other op options. You can change the alignment. You can add a link to it. You can change the size. You can even add a caption. If you add a link, you can, of course, link it to a pre-existing page on the wiki or an external link. Let's do YouTube press add link so when you press save and return to the screen whenever you click on the picture it will take you to YouTube and notice the captions here now if you want to edit the page some more again scroll up to the edit tab and the same editor menu will pop up and the screen will change back again.
Now let's say we want to organize all of this content into a table. Notice the table icon here. Click it here. It would ask you for how many columns and rows you would like. You can change that there. Press insert table. Now notice down here you have a table and you can start typing. You can even drag some content into another cell. And to edit the table, you just click inside somewhere and notice this icon pops up. You click it here. It will give you some more options. Do you want to change this cell, the entire row, the column, or the entire table? Let's add a row. So click on row. Notice it allows you to change the alignment to add a row to remove it or to even make it a header so we say we would like to add a row now it would ask you do you want it above or do you want it below and you just click for that option let's try to add a video in order to add a video you have to pick the spot you would like to place the video press the add widgets icon now there are many options here, but it's probably easiest just to click other HTML for all of your widgets. Now you have to find what's called an embed code. If we go to YouTube, I found a video that I would like to use. Now all I need to do is copy its embed code here. Go back to the site I like to edit. Paste the embed code press save and notice that a media box shows up here but once I press save that video should show up here and yes it does in a nutshell that's how you edit a wiki please join us for part two of this video in which I will show you how to create an ad-free educators wiki as well as manage the wiki. Thank you.